Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here on Foundation, a city building game. We're getting back into things again. It's been a while. The last video that we did was setting up our production chain for our farm, wheat farm, like the windmill and the bakery and all that fun stuff. And it's been a while since I've actually played the game because I've been playing a lot of Planet Zoo lately, but I had a feeling like we needed to break up the, you know, the typical Planet Zoo lately and try to put in something new. So we're gonna jump back into things again. I still don't know if I wanna start this up as a series because like the first video had like 30 views and yet like the second one had like 10. So it's kind of like, eh, what do we do? So regardless, I wanted to break up the recording sessions a little bit. So we're gonna get back into things and see where we go with life, I guess. So I think where we decided that we wanted to leave off at was after finishing that production chain that we should end up building a wooden keep. So we're probably gonna do that next. That's gonna be one of our, you know, mile markers and forget what else we did last time to be quite honest with you. All right, we have too many stone cutters and we're running out of berries again. We need to buy this plot of land next. So once we actually have the money, we're actually gonna go over there. Let's see how our budget's doing. Income, we're making income this week. Uh, we made enough last week. We just spent a lot last week. So we're going to boost up the speed and hopefully we can buy this plot of land right here and see if we can get more berries, get more stone so we can make a more profitable village. All right, we have enough money to buy this land, so hopefully I can buy it before I run out of money. There we go. Cool. Let's make some more extraction zones so we don't keep going into the big bad hole. Take out some more wood. Awesome. Oh my god, all my foragers just run over in a big crowd. Go get them berries. So since we're producing a lot of wood, we're actually going to start our wood and keep. It's only going to cost us planks, so I think we should put it toward the entrance here. Because it's basically the entrance. And since the last video, they've actually come up with an update. So like the, the work clothes that everybody wears should look much more differently. I don't know if it's because I didn't start up a new game. It may not work but it may not, so just thought to mention it because I think that's kind of cool. Alright, time to start our wooden keep. I think another thing that we should do during this episode too is that we need to add some sort of like dairy farm because we also want to bring cheese to our people and uh, by bringing them more food is the best way to go about things so we can actually be you know, successful and not have our people starve to death. And in case if there's a storm, people can buy more stuff as well. I just said dairy, but maybe this is the bread may help us out enough. Maybe we should do like wool and start with some clothes because those are some goods that do sell for pretty good money. Yeah, let's do that. I think that's a better idea. We're going to stick you way over here. There we go. Nice sheep farm. Nice weaver hut. We're going to place you more downtown. And then we're also going to put in a tailor's workshop. Right, I forget how to move things around. It's been a while. Ah, it says it on the bottom. There we go. I thought I hit that before. Maybe I hit shift instead of control. Ooh, now we can start building iron mines and stuff like that. That's always good. Let's start up a new production chain first. I think we're doing good on food. The berries are kind of running short. Let's see how much I'm exporting. Berries, it's at 70, so I'm really not exporting any. I think we're doing fine for now. Let's put in some more residential maybe. I want to put some over here. Maybe by clearing this out right here, it will work better. Let's see, I think we're gonna add some residential on the other side of this church here. I'm gonna pause it before they start building a crap ton. Bring it out like right here, maybe? Basically just coat you all over. There we go, I think that's fine. And we'll just see how they figure it out. There we go. Ooh, we're growing now. That's what I like to see. By the way, I'm having coffee because that's the type of person I am. For those of you that don't know me very well, I drink coffee on a regular day basis. Now this is our main city center right here. So at some point we're gonna have to expand out and start putting farms over here and stuff like that. But at the same point, I wanna try to take over some of these islands and stuff like that because it would be really beneficial for us. And there's also fish. Good news, we're making a lot of money. Wooden keep is done. There we go. One of our things. I shall train your soldiers. Yes, 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 yes. So we can bring in some soldiers too. Good thing about the soldiers is too, is if we want to bring people, 
to help the queen or king or whatever that person was. I didn't even pay attention. See, I'm great at this. But the good thing about our soldiers is that we can send them over. They actually never die as of right now because it's still an alpha and they still haven't figured out all, all the military stuff yet. But we send over our soldiers and then what they end up doing is we end up getting points for sending over our soldiers and stuff like that. So we end up making pretty good deals by actually getting free plots of land to purchase. Not like it's an issue right now considering we're at 710 right now, as in for gold, we're at maximum. Actually, speaking of that, I think we should expand our manor a little bit. There we go, I'm just gonna add a tower for a manor. Not like it's a top priority or anything, but I wanna make sure we get this sheep, sheep farm up. Why do we not have any tools coming in? Are we just waiting on them? Is that what it was? The good thing is once we extract all the trees from this area right here, we're gonna be able to bring our residential all the way over here. We could do that right now, but I'd rather have them cut down the trees themselves so we actually get the material points for it. We wanna make sure we actually get the materials so we can put it toward our village. I also have reforestation over in the corner, like I've had an all game. But once we get enough plots of land, we're actually going to take that out. We're going to move the whole entire industry or the gathering district, whatever you want to call it, basically the district over in the corner. We're going to move that somewhere else and we're actually going to have, you know, like wheat farms on one side and we'll have foragers kind of here and there and then, you know, kind of just move everything outside of the city limits so there's no negative effects on our residents. All right, so... <laughs> They finished the the clothing hut and the weaver hut before they even finished the sheep farm, but they're all done. Well, I assigned a tailor, but I can't assign anybody else. Three people decided to join my village. Come on, let's bring in some sheep people. Let's go. I want sheep. I want more stuff. We need to expand our market also. Where's our good stall? Let's go. Good stall. Oops, wrong button again. Good stall. We're gonna place you right here. All right, there we go. We have everyone assigned for our places. We're gonna spawn two sheep because it makes it look more real. Little sheep, little sheep. There we go. And then we should be able to set up a production chain as well. We're actually gonna make a slot for clothing. Never mind. we're not gonna make a slot for clothing because that's the granary. <laughs> Where's the, here we go. Let's go for some clothing. There we go. Can we actually sell it too? Only if we unlock the trade route right here. We can't sell clothing until down here. Oh, we can unlock that. We unlock that. My lord, there is prediction that bad weather is coming. I recommend that we stock up as much food as we can while the weather is good. Okay, um, cool. Hopefully that's enough food. Uh, berries are running low. Let's see if we can get another forager's hut. There we go. Our market is complete. Let's sell some... And we're actually going to make sure somebody works it because that's in that's like very important. <laughs> so this is actually where I'm going to leave the episode. I thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you really did enjoy this episode of Foundation here on our little village. We still have a lot more to do with the village. If you guys want to see a series out of it, please let me know. Uh, because if this video doesn't get much attention, then I'm probably not going to continue it. Not to be like a Debbie Downer or anything, but... It's just how it works. I'll find another game. So, uh, that being said, actually, I don't know when I'm uploading this, but Transport Fever 2 comes out soon, and I'm going to be recording some of that also because I love the first one. Didn't think it was recording worthy, but I think the second one will be. So, we're going to try to put in some more variation. It's not only going to be playing at the zoo and, you know, maybe a funny moment Friday video here and there. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. So, please give me a like if you want to help support out the channel. Um, if this video doesn't get like more than five likes, then I'm not going to bother putting up another video. Once again, not trying to be mean or like be sad and all that stuff, but uh, if it doesn't end up happening, then it doesn't end up happening. But one thing we should do before we go, just because I want to see it so satisfying, is we're going to put this in and let them build more houses. There we go. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video.